Hey guys, welcome back. So in UST Global, uh, we were discussing what of the UST Global uh, interview question and answer the part one video. If you will miss, please watch. Okay, part one video. So we are discussing about uh, about our agile methodology in the last video, and we were discussing about our sprint uh, agile and agile ceremonies. So we have a four agile ceremonies in the last video. I uh, forget to discuss a sprint retrospective. So we have a one more that is called a sprint retrospective meeting. So what we are doing in this? So suppose how to improve our, I can say a sprint in the coming a sprint. So all the discussion is going uh, over there. If something uh, went well, we will also discuss. If something went wrong, also means we are not able to achieve the task. And also how to do more improvement in our existing uh, script means as uh, existing. Uh, a sprint we will discuss over there okay so a sprint retrospective at the end of each sprint cycle the team also meet to discuss what the working for uh, on process level including blockers communication issue or lack of resources so this all the discussion is going on here so they have asked how will you rate out of five in java okay so many of them you guys are rating four or five right that is not good practice because in the interview we don't have anything 100 percent okay rate 3 and 3.5 that is enough if you are a very confident rate 3 and 3.5 so do not rate more than that okay if in you already have a hundred percent but might be you forget something so it's a have a bad impression with the interviewer what is polymorphism so i have created a java tutorial if you guys are following please watch i teach java in the depth but if someone will ask what is polymorphism polymorphism means uh, having the multiple form so by fo following the polymorphism we are defining the multiple method with same name either with the same implementation or different implementation in the normal in the general uh, thing like the polymorphism means one person having the different behavior okay how to achieve the polymorphism we will develop the polymorphism with method overloading and method overriding so what is method over loading so method method overloading contains the same logic with different parameter method name is same but we are passing the different parameter i have explained very well in our java tutorial please watch my java tutorial you will get the link over there also if you will go for my channel you will get the java tutorial so i explain very nicely with code as well so go and brush up your java and overriding contains different logic with same parameter so in overriding the parameters are same but logics are different one of the most uh, frequent question they have asked what are the challenges or exception have you faced while using the uh, selenium or while using in your current project right this is the most uh, i can say ask the question many times they have asked so many challenge will come guys when you will work on the selenium so suppose i am automation they hired for the automation test engineer and previously i worked in the e-commerce domain and we have a healthcare domain this challenge is also there you have a very short period of the time and you have to also explore your healthcare domain if you are not good in the domain then how to automate your test cases if you don't understand the test cases or domain it's a very difficult to automate so first priority understand the application understand the uh, manual flow then I start to do the automation blindly we cannot start the automation you will stuck okay remember this dynamic elements so sometimes uh, elements are uh, dynamic so sometime we have to uh, struggle a lot to handle this dynamic element so website often we have a element that load dynamically means they appear or changes after the initial page load and selenium may struggle to find the interact with these elements if they haven't fully loaded it so how to resolve this we can use synchronization concept right so we can we have a wait statement in the selenium so that is what i have mentioned asynchronous behavior similar to dynamic element asynchronous behavior can cause the timing issue selenium might try to interact with element before it's ready and loading to the failure so 
how to handle this we can use wait statement we have a explicit wait, in, uh, explicit wait implicit wait and we have also fluent wait so by using the these wait statement we can perform that we, we are able to resolve that okay so next challenge is clicky test cases so some of the clicky test cases are there when you are running sometime it will uh, you know sometime it will pass or sometime it will fail so it is very difficult to handle this so test that sometime pass and sometime fail without any apparent reason can be frustrating okay so this is the most challenging thing i can uh, see in the automation and this could be due to the timing issue intermittent or network problem inconsistent tense uh, test environment so these are the problem we have that's why we are getting the clicky test maintaining the automation should one of the other challenge so when you will execute your automation should i could see some of the test cases are failing some of the passing then we have to fix it so that is another challenge and captcha so sometime in your manual flow some captcha is there but it's a most challenging thing even we cannot automate the captcha so we have to bypass uh, your i can say the automation part where you can do some manual uh, interaction and all so that is the one more challenge guys so these are the challenge common challenge are there okay what is the test execution sequence in the test ng guys uh, we have a multiple annotation just i have a one snapshot so here we have a before method before class before test uh, then uh, after test so these are the sequence if you just go through this snapshot so when you will execute right you can see the suite before suite is executing first then we have a before test before class before method then test then it is a vice versa after method after class after test then in the last it will be after suite okay so sometimes they will ask you the can you tell me the sequence of this annotation just try to execute in your system just type this code and try to execute okay how to handle multiple window in selenium so we have a uh, two methods to handle here multiple window first of all you have to find the parent window id so we will use parent window uh, if you want you can just type this code and if you know already that is also fine just you have to highlight the steps the first steps we will find the multiple window first of uh, means we will find the parent window id so we have a method called get window so get window handle will find the parent window id then we have a we have to switch on the uh, child window so it, we have a method called get window handles so get window handles will return the set of uh, a string then we can do some it, uh, iteration using the iterator method okay and we can give the one condition the parent window id is not equal to the child window id so we can switch and if you want to perform some activity then we can do it like some validation then we have a driver dot switch dot window then again come back to the our parent window what is the difference between uh, this single uh, forward slash and double forward slash in xpath select the direct children so if you want to validate right so if you want to go for the children node then we can use this and double uh, forward slash will use to find any element on the web page okay so uh, descended at the any level and starting from the current context node so it is coming from the node to node right but here when you are writing the relative xpath you can find the xpath uh, in html on the any in middle of the doc okay so this is the difference between so they have asked one java code right a program to find the duplicate character in given a string so i have a series of the playlist okay so i already covered this all the question some of the repeated question i have covered so please follow that so let me show you uh, one second go to my um, i'll just tell you how to brush up in in where you have to brush up your java skill and because java is very important and people are struggling with java go to my playlist 
and this playlist we have a java tutorial where we have a polymorphism you can learn in the depth and another tutorial i have created a most frequent asked question programming question okay just follow this and watch this and you will get the answer here find the java program to find the duplicate character it's the same logic almost the same okay okay that's it in this video guys if you are new in the channel please subscribe and press bell icon see you in the next video bye, -bye.